Ukraine's massive newly discovered oil deposit. Does that have anything to do with it? That's what this video will be about. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, why haven't you? Go ahead and subscribe. But thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. Yeah, I don't know why this isn't being talked about uh, more in the newspapers. I mean, there are massive uh, oil deposits, apparently, or uh, liquid gas anyway, LP gas, off of the coast of Crimea. Gosh, I wonder if that had something to do with that takeover. Looks like there's some deposits under the Donbass regions. I wonder if that had anything to do with it. So we'll, we'll ask the cards. I had some specific questions here. Nope, that was it. And, uh, oh yeah, well, let's take a peek into Putin's invasion into uh, Ukraine. So do um, those oil deposits... Is that what's making the difference in um, in this uh, war that um, uh, Russia has with Ukraine? Is it the oil deposit? Is it was that the answer that there's no um, there's no deal to be made with that? There's no way around it. So, is that it? Let's take a minute to get these cards a little shuffled up, and of course, also let's have a little meditation. Let's see if we can get these spread out nicely. We don't want to spread out today, but that's good enough. Just a moment. See? That's all we need. So we'll get these shuffled and see what is isn't the oil. Is it the oil? This will be a full felt it cross for that one question. Is it the oil? Russia and Ukraine. Russia and the Ukraine. Is it the oil? Okay. Six chords first. Okay. One. Two. Three, four, five, and six. Is it the oil? Okay, the signifier card for this then uh, is that what it is? Is it the oil? Uh, so we've got the uh, princess. Of wands. So this is a big plan. The signifier of this reading then is this great big wand that this princess of wands is holding on to. Now, what's interesting is um, this isn't Russia because then it would be a, the emperor or the, at least the king, but this is the princess of wands. I think this is Ukraine holding on to some sort of a big plan. My question is, is it the oil? And I'm um, looking around the card to see if there's anything that gives me a pull in that direction. There's not. So the signifier card is this, um, well, not princess. It's a, it's a queen, actually. So queen of wands. Uh, but I just don't, I think this is the Ukraine. Queen of wands. There's a big, there's a big plan. The challenge to that, um, is it the oil for Russia and uh, the Ukraine? Is this five uh, of cups? And, uh, so the, the cups are emotion, not emotion, emotion, compassion, and, you know, deep, very deep felt, heart, heartfelt, uh, situations. So this five of cups, uh, is a mourning over what's lost. Okay. Um, for me, I don't know. This could be Russia. It could be Ukraine too. This could be Russia looking at, at this, but it's not a compassionate uh, issue for Russia, is it? No. They just want it back. There's, there doesn't seem to be a heart there. This has to be Ukraine looking at what's been lost uh, so far. So we have three cups down, two cups to go, and uh, there's a river of compassion, and uh, the Ukraine's back is even turned uh, to what's back here. Is this the enemy on that side? So the challenge to this queen of wands, this queen of her plan, okay, is this um, loss, this emotional yeah, of course it is. The base of this reading then uh, is the oil. Okay, so here we have the Queen of Cups. And, um, well, that's interesting. So the Queen of Cups, this is definitely a proud uh, queen. She's holding those cups up like a trophy, actually. And um, this is a very smug uh, Queen of Cups here, as a matter of fact. Um, this could be uh, showing us um, 
uh, Russia, they're holding up the tro- those emotions almost like a trophy. I mean, one of the um, arguments uh, that is filtering through the Russian people is that uh, we're all one land. You know, we don't have to uh, have a war. We would just meld together uh, perfectly because we're all one land, or at the very least, that uh, they belong with uh, Russia. So the uh, past in this reading, then, is the oil. So this is the three of wands. The three of wands is long-term plans. Wands are uh, uh, actions, plans, uh, movement forward. And uh, this uh, is, fellas, looking out over the ocean with these plans, looking out over the ocean uh, with these plans that are firmly set, as a matter of fact. Um, I'm going to say this has to be uh, Zelensky, but it's in the past. Well, we may revise that. We'll see. In the sky of this uh, reading, then, we have the magician. Okay, well, that's wonderful to have this in the sky because this tells us that, you know, there are lots of possibilities that almost anything's possible because uh, we have all the tools uh, on the table in front of us to make it happen. So um, we could think of this as uh, the situation for Zelensky where all the tools uh, are on the table in front of him and uh, he seems to know how to use them. And then, uh, but is it the oil? The uh, uh, final uh, outcome for the first part of this, then, is this... um, 10, 11. So this is justice. Oh, well, justice is good. So this first part doesn't really address the question that I've asked. So we'll have to do another four cards and see what it turns to. But uh, so far we're asking, um, yeah, is this is this uh, oil? And I get here the princess of, of wands, or rather, I want to say the princess, but I get the queen of wands, actually. So the queen of some long-term plan. Maybe this is Russia, after all. And then the uh, mother Russia. And then the uh, challenge to that with this uh, five of cups, yeah, this can be the Ukraine looking at what she's uh, losing, what she's lost already. Uh, the challenge to these plans. Uh, the base of the whole reading then uh, comes to down to this Queen of Cups, and uh, but this Queen is yielding those cups of emotions, almost like a trophy, like something to be bartered with. Could be uh, Russia again here, and then in the uh, past of this reading for whether it's the oil. Um, this is the Three of Wands, um, and, and this is, uh, you know, long-term plans, looking ahead, uh, trying to decide what we're going to do in some long-term future. So, again, this has to be Ukraine. And I'll just mention that both the cards that may be uh, uh, Ukraine are not major arcana cards. I mean, they're they're from the minor arcana, and they're not very uh, high up in the suit. So we've got a couple of cards here that seem to speak to Russia that are both uh, queens, uh, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Now, in the sky, though, in... Um, Ukraine's favor, we've got the magician. So the magician, I mean, you could easily say that this is Russia because they have everything uh, uh, they need to make this happen. But, I mean, to be optimistic with the reading, it seems like to me this would be what is a balancing factor for the Ukraine. She's, she's the magician against these queens. And then the uh, final outcome for this uh, is justice. So uh, in this case, this would just speak to the invasion, the, tri- the takeover, and uh, it seems to say there's going to be some justice uh, in that. So let's get four more cards and see where they point us to. Uh, I hoped uh, talking about oil, but maybe that's the point. Maybe that's not the issue. So four more cards to see. The self of that question, is it the oil? Okay. No, it's not. It's it's it actually is um, this strong generational, familial, uh, emotional com- uh, piece. It, it's exactly what it is. I'll be darned. Um, and maybe that's what it is for Putin. And then it's in the environment of what? Uh, it's in the environment of this oh, the end of a cycle. So yeah, this uh, number twenty of the major arcana is the uh, is judgment. And um, yeah, this is this is definitely. So in one reading, we have uh, the magician, we have justice, and now we have judgment. So this uh, feeling that you want to bring everybody back to the family that Russia may have for Ukraine or that Putin may have for that land uh, belonging to uh, Russia, he feels, is um, in the in the environment of this uh, judgment is here. And, these, and a couple of these people are really suffering under that judgment. The um, hopes and the fears for this. Uh, my question was whether it's the oil. Secrets being revealed. Well, maybe that's just it. Maybe. And these secrets, you know, always, the this moon card always comes up from the water. And, um, and you know, so you can imagine that this would be some of the water that is off the coast of Crimea, or at the very least, uh, the secrets that are uh, being revealed under the Dunbar region. region. And then the um, likely outcome for the whole thing, and it just barely mentioned the oil in this reading, uh, the likely outcome for the whole thing, of course, is the Nine of Swords. Swords being truth, justice, rules, and law. The Nine of Swords representing really nightmare and um, just, you know, horrible um, uh, feelings. Um, so the likely outcome for the whole thing, no matter how it comes out, of course, is just a lot of hurt. So, that's it. 
Well, I try to just uh, read uh, what comes out in the cards and uh, let me know what you think about it. Put uh, Write your uh, ideas about what these cards meant. And let's see uh, if we're on the same page or completely opposing. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so these are good. These are the Taro Mucha. This is another Los Scarabio, but they come in a cool case, which I love. And these cases are so useful when they stand up like this because you can take the little booklet out and you still have the cards kept nicely there. And these have an, a good booklet. I mean, it's it's cool looking paper. Uh, it's got uh, interesting uh, suggestions for divination of the cards. And, uh, you know, it's la it'll it's lasty. So we have that. Now the cards... I'll show you before we get started. Are right, easy to use. They've got, they're beautiful on the back, and uh, they're really nice uh, on the front. And they're not too hard to interpret. I mean, they're typical uh, Rider weight uh, iconography, and uh, you can figure out what they mean without very much trouble at all. So, you know, if you don't get to look at a lot of cards, tune in to me, and there you're going to see some kind of cards because I'm getting them all the time. And um, at one point. We'll have to start to give some of these away because I've just got too many. But uh, not now because I love everything I've got. Very greedy. But uh, hopefully these cards will give us some good answers. And we'll get working on that. Tarot Mucha. Done in the uh, style of the artist uh, Alphonse Mucha. Google it. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go. So stop on by. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.